Hi CIS 151 students. This video clip covers activity 1031, writing useful batch files found on page 533 in your textbook. But first I want to give you a little bit of background on um, batch files. A batch file is customizing and automating the sequence of commands by actually writing a command sequence. Any command you can enter at the system prompt can be included in a batch file. Now, batch files are used for several reasons. Uh, you can minimize keystrokes and minimize the possibility of errors. You can automate and frequent, any frequently used procedures or you can write a batch file uh, to execute an application program. The word batch is an old processing, data processing term. In, in earlier computing times, of some which I lived through, there were data processing departments which would run jobs and batches that were requested by other departments. However, batch jobs are still run today. Uh, one example of a batch file that's run is a, a big payroll uh, process, well, like for payroll checks. You may ask, how does the operating system know the difference between a data file and a program file? It knows the difference based on the file extension. In Chapter 10, you will learn how to write and execute a batch file to save keystrokes, a one-letter batch file, alter your command line environment, load an application program, run Notepad, and learn several new commands like rem, echo, cls, and pause. And, of course, you will learn how to write useful batch files, and that's what this video clip um, is going to cover. First, I've got my screen set up so that my uh, data disk, which is my thumb drive, which is drive F, um, I've got my command uh, line window set up so that I'm ready to go uh, for keying in the... Uh, uh, batch file that we're going to create. Okay, the first step is to open up the edit window in, in command prompt so that you can create your batch file. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to key in the words that are in step one as they are stated in your textbook uh, to create that batch file. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go to the keyboard and you're going to press the Alt key plus the F key. That brings the um, drop-down menu under File into View. And then you're going to press X for Exit. Then the system is going to prompt you, do you want to save your file? And you're going to uh, type in a Y uh, for Yes. In step four, you're going to use the type command to uh, bring up uh, what you just entered into the edit screen for the for the Deltree batch file. In steps five and six, you're going to create a directory or make a directory called try it with the subdirectory again after uh, within try it. In step 7 you're going to copy the astro directory all of its contents to the try it slash again directory. In the eighth step you're going to key in del tree try it and um, information will be re returned to you in the command prompt window. 
the command on the fifth line, uh, rd backslash s try it, is being executed as if it had been keyed in at the command line. Um, and it's going to ask you if you uh, want to run this command. And you uh, enter a y, that's step 9. And now you're going to check your work by uh, keying in dir uh, try it to see what the, the command prompt window will return to you. And the system returns to us uh, the statement file not found. Uh, this tells us that the Dell tree batch file works just like we intended it to work. This is the end of the video clip for activity 1031.